वेलकम टू माय चैनल बालाकृष्ण क्वेसर सो इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी ए सब्सक्राइबर सो प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर इट सो इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फर्स्ट एंड इन टुडे सेशन विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द माइंड मैप्स सो इन सिंपल टू डिफाइन व्हाट अ माइंड मैप इज अ माइंड मैप इज अ डायग्राम यूज्ड टू विजुअली ऑर्गेनाइज इंफॉर्मेशन एंड प्रेजेंट इट इन प्रेजेंटेशन सो वन ऑफ माय बेस्ट स्टूडेंट हैज आस्क्ड मी to create a mind map which is related to the presentation skills and this is the video all about and this video is dedicated to my best student from people to school madan palli location now straight away coming down to the point so if you look into the presentation skills today presentation skills has become a core competence and more important aspect in each and every role and that's the reason so If you look into this presentation skills part we have totally eight most important factors like communication skills four piece content presentation speech dynamics learning fast and analyzing five w's so what are these five w's we'll be getting to know about it in future and how do we plan for a presentation and what is body language now let us start without any further delay with the communication skills communication skills can be mostly acquired through these seven c's of communication so when you get into the seven c's of communication the first one is a candidness so in simple to say what is candidness you should be very straightforward with the topic what you are trying to present to the audience and when you are presenting the concept or a presentation or a topic the theme whatsoever it is the first thing is you should be able to face the audience in front of you that means you should have the eye to eye contact with the jury members if any an audience when you are trying to present the concept the second most important thing is the clarity so how clear you present your uh sentences or the presentation or the theme in a straightforwardness that is a clarity in simple to say the quality of the content always depends upon the words that you are using and the sentences that you are creating and the simplicity of the sentence you see when you are trying to present something in uh, presentation skills or on a dia see that the words should be very simple so that even a layman should be able to understand what you are speaking about then we have concise so conciseness being very short in presentation not too more elaboration is required for each and every important aspect so using more of quotations see when you look into the first quotation that i have presented to you given before starting of the mind map so what are the discipline is yours to become a student of excellence mastery can be achieved through mind maps the reason why i have used this quotation is because quotation plays a crucial role in creating this kind of concise presentations a big message can be put into a short form through a picture or a pictorial representation and that is a uh, that is the most important concise precise information piece that will be able to give to the onlooker then we have completeness whatever the sentences you are talking about or you are presenting see that it should be a complete sentence where there should be a subject there should be verb and there should be an object then information from the international journals has to be included because that is the most important criterion right now to evaluate then references should be also presented so how do we present the references we'll be discussing about it later now the next one is conducive what is conducive you use or the application of the more positive words like fabulous excellent amazing astounding and when you look at the top 10 most impactful words for any presentation is like which i told you the fabulous excellent amazing etc so these positive words should be used in each and every presentation not only this and try to avoid the negative words like couldn't don't so try to avoid this word n o t which is a negation form in the presentation then we have coherence whatsoever is your presentation never go deviate or never go out of your boundary and try to speak something which is not necessary for presentation being very specific to the topic is the next most important thing 
then whatever is the title that is given to you for the presentation, you should always cling to the title and move forward till the end of the presentation. And finally, we have something which is called as a concreteness. Using the concrete nouns, in simple to say, the concrete sentences, which means you should have a clear, specific subject, what you're trying to present in all the entire communication skills or the seven states of communication in the presentation skills. Now, if you look into the next one, the content presentation, how do you present the content? How beautifully you could do it? So the first thing is, even before starting up the presentation, you should have a strong verbal shake hand. That is called wishing and start. Then take a good breath, even before starting up a presentation. Most of the people, they straight away go onto the layers and start speaking, which is wrong. The moment you go onto the layers, just stay for a while and take a deep breath and be ready and then you start. And then you go with the introduction of the presentation that you have created are planned off. Then presentation sequence is the most important thing. How you're trying to present. So what is going to be the first, what is going to be the last, and what is going to be the middle. So everything is very important. Then body and continuous presentation. How do you connect the second step to the first step and the tenth step to the eighth step or the first step? This connectivity is very important when you are trying to present something. And finally, please do not forget, every presentation should have a conclusion, which is very, very vital and important. Now, we have the next most important thing, which is called as a speech dynamics. Introduce yourself in a creative way. Now, the question is, how do we introduce ourselves in a creative way? So, if you look at this, my name, for example, if you take my name, my name is Balakrishna. And how do I introduce myself in a creative way? For example, Balakrishna, which is a combination of Balarama and the Sri Krishna. Now I introduce me like, I creatively introduce me as the strength of Balarama and the tactics of Sri Krishna combined together from Balakrishna. When you try to give a presentation, please remember, people are not trying to expect something, the data which is collected from the internet and presented in front of them. No. It is all the way you introduce yourself at the first point, that is the first point where you create an impact with the judges. When you create, introduce, introduce yourself in a creative way, then that particular judge will be completely interested towards you because you try to present something in a different way. Then, get the attention of the audience. This is very, very important. How do you get the attention of the audience? So the only way or the best way to get the attention of the audience is give one word the excellent glow. In the sense, amazing. When you, tell this, when you say this particular word with loud voice, all of us, all the audience will look at you, what's happening. That loudness, that power, the capacity to deliver the message in a right way, with the right tone, with the right size and the right volume is considered to be getting the attention. Then build a rapport. What, what kind of rapport are you trying to build with the people? So you are trying to build up a rapport with a textual information between the users, I mean, between the audience and you to get connected to them. Then humor. No doubt, humor is one of the most essential factor for any presentation, but not completely humorous. The place where you use the humor in a right way can be used to make it a little more humorous when you're trying to present something. Then use a short story. Yes, this is needed in modern days because a short story presentation can be given so that you can make the audience little think in a different way. Then make audience to think. Give them the frequent questions. So what kind of questions? Say for example, if you find other than these important aspects which are related to the spy, speech dynamics, please post it in the comment. So here you are trying to ask a question and ask them to post it through the comment. In the same way, whenever you're doing the presentation, ask them, what if they do? If there is a situation in a different way, then present the best statistics and reports which are related to the presentation that you are trying to deliver. Well, there's something which is very special. That's the beautiful smile. This difference will always impact and create a new style and new energy in each and every presentation. That is the reason smile will be always considered 
as a most important part for any presentation. Now let's go to the top and here we have four P's. What are these four P's essentially? The first one is power, the one which I told you. The capacity to deliver the speech with the quantity of the audience. See for example, when you are giving a presentation to 10 members and when you are giving a presentation to 1000 members, the volume should not be same. The power should be increased. That is what the power is. Then we have the pitch. Pitch in the sense, the sudden fall and rise of the information flow. For example, when you are talking about the Mahatma Gandhi, one sentence, let us take. Mahatma Gandhi is one of, when we say the same sentence like this, Mahatma Gandhi is one of the best impact creators of the world or the torch bearers of the world. Then that is called as a pitch. Pitch means how beautifully you raise your sentences to the maximum height. Then pace. So how beautifully you are going with the pace. Pace is a way of making your sentences a little faster sometimes and a little slower sometimes. It makes a difference between winning and losing all about the pace. For example, if you talk about a call center representative, the moment he takes the call, he says, thank you for calling me as an online technical support and this is Krishna Hami I assist you today. This is a very fastest sentence and at the same time, when he apologizes, he says, we apologize for the inconvenience ma'am, inconvenience sir. The reason is, he has decreased the pace. So increase of pace and decrease of pace are the two essential factors for the success of your presentation. And then pause. Pause is a place where you stop your presentation for a few seconds and continue suddenly. What does this pause give you? It makes the audience think a little high. When you give them the question, just give them a second to think what they're doing and that is called pace now the most crucial factor which is called the body language which is the next important constraint eye contact always i said there should be an eye contact between judges between audience and you there is a, always a triad connectivity between you audience and judges then gestures Gestures are nothing but the way you move your hands, the way you represent an idea in terms of not exactly oral but in a physical way. Hands and body movements play a very important role in creating the gestures and body language when you're trying to present. Body language is something which is very very important which is considered 60% when you're trying to represent something to a person. Then postures, cross hands, and holding your hands, these are not really encourageable. So the way you stand reflects your confidence. The way you present it reflects your confidence. That is the reason body language plays a crucial role. As we have a video which is very short, I don't want it to prolong it for too long and that is the reason I'm going very short and straightforward. Then we have the most important thing, planning, which is to be done at the first. So if you look into the planning, preparation of notes, how you're preparing notes, and preparation of quotations and collecting the quotations from the various sources. Now preparation of references. What generally everyone does is they collect the references, they give the information in a right way. But the problem is they don't collect where they have taken the reference from. Here they have taken the reference from semantic. So in the same way, wherever you're going, the references should be clearly collected where you're trying to get the information from. Then preparation of projections. What are these projections all about? Projections are nothing but the statistical data related to the presentations. So, you have to get the current data, you have to get the accurate data and using this correct statistical tool and projecting the future data in a right way. These are very important when you're trying to give a presentation pictorially or textually. Then preparation of forecast. We know what is the data that is currently existing today because we got the current data here. but to exactly forecast what is the future data, we need to have the current data and the future data connected towards each other with certain forecasting tools. Then preparation of the mind maps. So pictorial mind map and textual mind maps. These are the two mind maps which are generally used for corporate presentations and for the best presentation. 
in preparation of slide shows slide show backgrounds play a very important role when you are creating the background of a slide show see that the theme of the particular presentation that you are presenting should be presented as a background then pictorial info- infographics so you can use these kind of info- infographics while you are trying to present some kind of presentations you can use videos you can use audios you can use animation you can use textual presentation and you can also use the slide show presentations when you are doing this now analyze why do you use what are these what are you presenting why are you presenting whom you are presenting where are you presenting and when are you presenting these are very important for every presenter even before giving the presentation to the final audience please remember what are you trying to present where are you trying to present to whom you are trying to present see there are people who are very old and you are trying to present something and you should not be presenting it for too long because they don't have the patience to listen to you for such a long time so each and every factor that we have put in here are carefully the observations of the great presenters in the world now if you look into what you are presenting remember what you are presenting is only for 80% how you are presenting is something which is 82% which includes your body language which i told you then the four piece which i told you then the content presentation and speech dynamics and that is the reason this is very important please remember this 82% of your presentation skills depends upon how you present it that is very very important Now the last but not least what is learning fast how do you f- learn something very faster first thing is to learn something which is very new or which is very old please try to forget what you have learned earlier forget what you know make your brain very empty and make your brain ready to accept new things and to to learn things very actively you should be very active means you should be energetic in learning things the state the mood of learning you can't just learn things when you are upset so that is the reason an emotion with information will be a long lasting memory and that is the reason where you have to information where you have to do the information exchange then the state of the mind should also be considered a lot then the best way to learn something is to teach when you learn it please teach it to others teach to learn so that is how you can learn things very very faster and now the question is what are all these arrow marks how did why did i do that so the reason why i did was like there is an interconnectivity between each and every node that you are seeing these interconnectivities are mentioned in this way so probably i hope you enjoyed this and this is a small video where we are not going to present everything it is just a brief glance about what exactly are the various constituents of the presentation skills so hope you enjoyed this and please do subscribe to the channel please like and share and comment so thank you very much for this wonderful opportunity and have a wonderful day